Hi guys and welcome to this video series on the amazing vocal colors from native instruments. Now vocal colors as you already get from the title is a plugin that revolves around kind of manipulations of the human voice essentially. So it comes with a range of different vocal expressions and with the amazing kind of synthesis engine you can kind of blur the lines between kind of speech and synthesis to create some really interesting sound design. So it comes packed with kind of movement and motion and dynamics and definitely has a very innovative sound palette. Great for cinematic compositions and kind of forward thinking pop music and anything that would benefit from some kind of experimental vocal sound design. It comes with both male and female voices and it has a kind of wide array of different palettes from whispers to shouts to paddy kind of held notes. And it can be used to create pads, basses, grooves, kind of sequences. And again, has that very nice kind of blend between sounding ultra kind of modern and futuristic, but also having an organic natural feel to it as well. Okay, so Vocal Colors is obviously a contact instrument, so we load it up by coming to the library here and you can click on Vocal Colors and load it up like so. And in the first video, we're going to go through where everything's located and at a basic level what things are for. So this is essentially our main display here. And in the top left hand corner here, we have the name of the snapshot, which is loaded up. So obviously we can choose our snapshots up here. We can move forwards and backwards through here. We can click on the menu here to load them up. And you'll see that'll be reflected in the name up here. And you can do the same thing from here as well, like so. Now, next thing along is the expression knob here. Now this is always going to be visible. And this is a knob, it's kind of a macro control that allows you to assign different parameters within vocal colors. So you can have quick and immediate kind of expression over your sound. <laughs> So it allows you to change the sound over time. Now, depending on what is assigned here, that's going to have more or less of an effect on the sound. Now, located at the bottom of the window here, we have the module row. So this module layer down here will contain the three different kind of sound creation areas, layer one, layer two, and the particles. We also have an arpeggiator here, allowing us to create a sequence of notes. And the global section here, which allows you to set the overall sound of the instrument, essentially. And you can see we have a quick way of being able to change respective kind of mix volumes of these as well as you can see there now the central area of this main window here has this very lovely kind of display of blossom here and actually this translates to the different sound creation sections so if we switch off layer one you'll see this pink flower here kind of closed up and then if we switch it on it opens up same for layer two you see that's the turquoise section here and also the particles you see when we switch that on kind of goes into blossom as well so it's quite interesting the way that the graphic here will reflect what we're doing down below now if we choose something here let's say layer one this main area will update now to show us whatever it is we have selected here so we can click on these tabs here likewise for layer two and then for the particles you see this will update to show us parameters relating to whatever it is we have selected down on the module row here OK, and we can click this little cross whenever we want to come out of here. So a little bit more just on these modules down here. So layers one and two, they allow us to access essentially the range of recordings that are contained within vocal colors, so the vocal recordings. And we can also adjust parameters relating to those vocal recordings. As you can see here. In the next video, we're going to have a look at the browsers that allows us to select the recording we're going to be using. So that's layers one and two. In the particle section, that allows us to create an additional kind of cloud of notes which are based on a sample set. Now the arpeggiator allows us, as we know, to sequence things, that's what arpeggiators do. And then the global setting here has some kind of general things like pitch bend and tuning, velocity, and also some EQ and dynamics as well. So we can kind of just dial the sound in exactly how we want it to sound. Okay, so that's just some basics on the interface so we know where everything is and what it's called. So in this video, we just gave an overview of what Vocal Colors is all about. We know now that we have our snapshots located up here. We have the expression knob here. Then we have our kind of main display here or central area here where we have this lovely graphic which corresponds to what we have configured down below here. And then we have the module row here with an arpeggiator our three kind of sound creation areas, layer one, layer two, and the particles, and then the global section, which allows us to set up how the instrument's going to be configured to play back, essentially. Now, whenever we click on one of these, you'll see this main area here, central area, will update to show us whatever it is we have selected from here. 
Okay, so now we've covered the interface of vocal colors. In the next video, we're going to jump in and look at our layer one and layer two in terms of the browser, allowing us to select what sound we're going to use. Okay, so I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.